Hey everyone, today I am bringing you a short daily stretch series that is really great to do at the end of your day or midday if you need a little pick-me-up. Um, the only prop that we will need is some sort of strap for stretching. So I have here a yoga strap. We can use a towel, tights, leggings. Um, if you have like a TheraBand, that works too. That's all you really need for a stretch that we'll do towards the end. And we'll get started. So we're going to start standing. These are some of my just favorite things to do at the end of the day. Let's reach the arms straight up to the sky and then hold them up there. And on your next inhale, bring your shoulders up to your ears, really shrug them up. And then exhale and release. Good, take that again, inhale, lift. And exhale, soften it down. Two more like that, inhale. And exhale, soften them down. Good, one more, inhale. And exhale, soften. Good, take one hand and grab the opposite wrist. Find that length again. And then let it pull you over into a gentle side bend. And then bring it up. Good, and then take that the other way. Grab the opposite wrist. Lengthen first, ribs pull up off the hips. And reach it over. Good. Coming back, switch, lift, length, and reach. Good. And then back to center and switch, lift, lengthen, and reach. Good. Back to center. Release those arms down. And then bring your shoulders forward and together towards each other. Up. And then slide them down your back. Good. Take it again forward. Up and then slide them down the back, just allowing those arms to move in your shoulder sockets. Shoulders move really nice and freely. Good, two more like that. One more. Good, and then we'll do a roll down to come to hands and knees. So we're gonna take our roll down nice and slow. Nod your chin towards your chest. And start to let your head drop, your arms just drape down in front of you. And let that bring you down bone by bone towards the mat, allowing your knees to soften at any point you feel like they need to. Take a moment at the bottom and just breathe into your back. So feel the inhale expand your back body. And then exhale and roll it back up one vertebra at a time, pressing down through your feet, dropping your tail through your legs down to the mat. Stack your spine up. Feel energy reach through the crown of the head. And do the same thing again. Chin to the chest, roll it down, articulating through your spine, softening the knees at any point you feel like you need to, expanding through that back with a big inhale. And then exhale it back up. And on the next one, we'll go ahead and go all the way down. Chin to the chest, roll it down. Let your head be heavy. Let your fingertips pull down towards the ground. Soften your knees. And then walk your hands out on the mat and just drop your knees down and come to your hands and knees position here. Hands directly under the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Tops of the feet pressing into the mat. On your exhale, tuck your tail under, scoop your belly in, press down through the hands and the knees. And then take it the other way, lift your tail, open your chest, feel your shoulders draw back as you lift into extension. Take it again, tuck your tail, scoop your belly, round your neck. And then take it the other way, lift your tail, open your sits bones, widen your chest, lift the eyes. Two more, round the back. And lengthen and reach. One more. Scoop belly and round the back. And reach. Beautiful. From here, we'll sit those hips back and reach the arms forward into a child's pose. Walk your hands out as far as you can. Get a nice stretch under the armpits. Let your forehead touch the mat. If this is too much for you, you can try to put a block under your head, a yoga block or a stack of books, so you're not so low. And then from here, we're going to move through those cat-cow stretches into a little ripple through. 
So you're going to tuck your tail under, scoop your belly in, round your back to lift your hips off of your heels, and then continue to let that pull you forward towards your hands. You're going to gently let the fronts of the hips open, reach your hips towards the mat, and then start to lift your chest up to the sky. And then scoop your belly in, round your back to bring those hips back over the heels again. We'll take that again. Scoop and lift. Abs engage. Hips press forward, but you're still pressing down through the mat and staying lifted through your core. Chest lifts. And then scoop it back and up. One more like that. Tuck the tail. Pull through. Hips lower, but you press up through those hands, or push down through the hands and lift up away from the mat, and then scoop it in, and sit all the way back into your child's pose for another moment. Walk your hands over to the left to open up more through the right side of your body, and take a breath, focusing on opening up that right side. And then walk your hands over the other way, opening up through the left side, Breathe. And then come back to center. Come back up to hands and knees, hands directly under the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Reach your left arm out to the side, pinky down, thumb up. And let's actually, you know what, let's reach the right leg straight back and then take that left arm out to the side. The right toes will be on the mat still, they're gonna stay down. And then you'll open that left arm up to the sky. Let it twist you open, arm up to the ceiling, press down through that right hand, and then come all the way back down. Take it again, press down through your right hand as you open up with the left arm, feel the spine twist in your chest open, and then bring it back down. Two more. And right back down, one more. Good, and release it back down. We'll go ahead and switch to the other side. Reaching your left leg back, toes tucked under, right arm out to the side, thumb up to the ceiling. Reach up, leading up with that thumb as you press down through the opposite hand to open the chest twist. And then bring it back down. Taking that again, lift and lengthen. And release it back down. Two more. And release. One more. And release. Very nice. Take a seat with your legs in front of you. One leg crossed in front of the other. If you are very flexible in your hips, you can take one leg and stack it on top of the other. But if not, if that's not accessible for you, that's fine. Just one leg in front of the other here. We're going to take a nice big inhale. And then on your exhale, start to drop your belly down towards your legs. Place your hands on the ground and let yourself fall forward over your legs. See if you can keep the spine straight instead of rounding over. Try to ground down through your sits bones and your hips there. And then bring it back up and we'll switch sides. Both sits bones evenly grounded into the mat. Lengthen yourself forward. Walk the hands out if that feels good for you. Try to make sure you're still even in the hips there. Sometimes if you're tighter in one hip, that hip wants to lift off. See if you can ground down and pull the hips back as your chest reaches forward. And then we'll come back up from there. Bend the knees with your feet flat on the mat. Our strap's going to come with us. You're going to need that in just a moment. Arms reach straight out in front of you, shoulders down. And we're just going to slowly roll down to lay back on our mat. A little bit of core engagement here as you lay down. And then grab whatever you're going to use for your stretch and place it around your right foot. Your right leg stretches straight up to the sky. Your hips are nice and neutral, long through both sides of the waist. Pubic bone and hip bones on the same plane here, so be careful not to tuck to get your leg closer to you. We want to stay neutral. And then if it's available to you, you can straighten out your bottom leg. But if that feels like it arches your back or is too tight in the hip, just bend that knee again. That's fine. We're going to allow that leg to extend. 
straightening through the back of the knee. Just hold that and breathe. And then go ahead and open that leg out to an inner thigh stretch, allowing your opposite knee to fall open, to open up through both inner thighs. Breathing down all the way into your pelvis to open up the pelvic floor. Bring the leg up through center and across the body, straightening your bottom leg. And just letting that leg, maybe you switch hands that are holding the strap if you'd like, you take that leg just slightly across the center of the body, still keeping that right hip anchored so we're not twisting the spine off, we're just carrying the leg across to stretch through the outer muscles of the hip and the thigh. And maybe even into your lower leg too. And then come back to center and we'll switch sides. So left foot into the strap, right leg down, bent or straight, depending on what feels right for you. Just make sure those hips stay even and neutral. Find your stretch. Take a couple breaths there. It should feel like a stretch, but not unbearable. You shouldn't be bracing against your stretch. So find a stretch that's effective but comfortable. And then we'll open that leg to our inner thigh stretch. Take a couple breaths there. Lengthen through the back of the knee, even through the hips. And then come back through center, extending the bottom leg long, taking the leg across the body. Check in and make sure you're still long through this side of the waist. So sometimes our hip hikes up a little bit. Try to lengthen it away. Maybe even Push your hand against your thigh a little bit. Woo! Breathe. And then come back to center. Drop your strap or towel that you're using off to the side. Reach your arms out to the side in a T. Bend both knees, knees and ankles together so your legs are all the way together. And then we're just going to start to drop the knees to the left, keeping the right shoulder anchored to open up through the side body. And then on your next exhale, bring it back through center and go the other way. Try to keep your ribs relaxed and heavy down into the mat. Swing the legs. Knees and ankles are staying attached, so your opposite foot will actually come off the ground. Good, and back to center. And again, over to the left. Right knee staying right on top of that left knee. Right shoulder staying anchored. And back to center, and through to the left. I'm sorry, to the right, you're going to the right now. Come back to center. Let's drop the legs over to the left one more time. And go ahead and, if your shoulder needs to come off to do that, that's fine. Let your knees drop all the way. And then let that right arm just really reach down to the ground. Chest open. Think about those right ribs being heavy to the mat. So we're trying to just increase the rotation in our spine here. Come back through center, go the other way. So legs drop all the way. Left knee is stacked right on top of the right. It'll probably pull your arm off in that spine and then just try to twist it down more. Let gravity pull your arm down. This is my harder side to twist. Maybe you have one too. Feel gravity pull those left ribs down towards the mat. Come back to center. Now if this is something you're doing at the end of your day, go ahead and take this little relaxing moment. If this is something at the beginning of the day and you're ready to like get up and go and you feel the energy, that's fine. But we're going to lay here and breathe for a little while. Arms just resting down by your sides, palms up. Try to scan the body and see if you're bracing anywhere, release any tension. And just take a couple breaths here. Now if you're still continuing on and this is a beginning of your day practice for you, try to take longer inhales than exhales. So breathe in and then make your exhale a little bit shorter. And then this, if this is an end of your day practice, try to increase the length of your exhales. So shorter inhales, longer exhales. Just 
So whatever that means to you, take a couple breaths like that. One more breath. Good, and then we're just gonna roll to one side. Use your arms to help press you up to sitting. And you are all set.